Light trails are a neat little trick that anyone can photograph with a camera. And in this episode of The Dive, we are gonna dive into this image of the Atlanta skyline and how to photograph light trails. Hey guys, Huang here, and today in this episode of The Dive, we are gonna dive into this image taken from the Jackson Street Bridge of the Atlanta skyline and of these car trails. First off, we'll dive into the settings used to take this image, and then I will go over tips and tricks on how to take light trail images. The ISO is at 400, and the aperture was at F16 to make sure that the whole image was sharp. The exposure time for this image was 10 seconds, and at the time that I was there, there weren't a lot of cars driving by. So this image is actually five images, all taken with the same settings and then merged together to capture more car trails. This image was also taken on this mini tripod because I did not have my full length tripod with me at the time because we had just gone to a bunch of indoor museums and things where I wasn't allowed to bring the tripod. So I brought this thing and set this up on the bridge basically on the side railing and just did my best to hold it as still as possible and take my images. Capturing light trails is really fun and it really only requires a long exposure. That's really all it is. Keeping the shutter open for about 10 or 15 seconds allows you to have a point of light that starts somewhere and instead of immediately just capturing it, it as the light trail moves, it's going to capture that whole streak. And that's how you end up getting these car trails from one car that started at one of the points here and just drove all the way down the road. You get a whole trail of that car light. For example, if we take this flashlight and go ahead and point this here and we move it across the screen, you will notice that the frame rate, which is essentially like taking photos, is fast enough that you see one point of light at any given point. However, if I slow the frame rate down and I move the light across the screen, you'll see that you can see the light point. This is obviously not long enough to capture that long, this is one sixth of a second, but you'll see that the light point looks more like a line when I'm moving it really quickly across the screen as opposed to the single dot that it was before. Not a perfect example because this is a video and not photos, but hopefully you get the point. So this trick can apply to much farther than just car trails. You can use this to get star trails. And that is when you point the camera at the sky and you take a exposure that's very long. If you want to get some legit star trails, you probably want an exposure, total exposure time of maybe eight, like several hours. So you would probably end up taking multiple images and then merging them together. But the same principle applies. A longer exposure is going to mean trailing in stars and cars and whatever it may be. If you want to find out more on how to photograph the stars and go ahead and check out my other video on how to photograph the Milky Way in astrophotography. Back to this image. This image was taken right after sunset and it was still pretty bright out from the sun. The sky was pretty bright at the time we took this image. So the cars were getting blown out. The skies were getting blown out, especially when we were doing 10 plus second exposures. So in order to fix that, you wanna use a neutral density filter. So this is a variable ND filter. So when you go and put this on your lens and twist it, it's going to get darker. And it's like putting sunglasses on your camera. This is going to minimize the amount of light that gets to your lens so that you can do a much longer exposure without getting an extremely blown out sky. So you definitely can try out different exposures to get more cars or more light sources in your image. The downside is that the longer exposure means that you have a much higher chance of blowing out the sky or getting extremely bright lights in there that are way too bright for the image. And that just depends on time of day, what you're photographing, and how long of an exposure you're using. So if you are gonna push and try to use a longer exposure, then make sure you adjust your settings accordingly. So drop the ISO as low as you can get, use an ND filter if you need it, make sure your aperture is as narrow as possible, so probably something in the range of f11, f14, maybe even more if you need to, but you're losing a little bit of sharpness if you're gonna go on uh, past that. But whatever it takes to get everything in focus and not blown out. I would definitely recommend trying this kind of thing in a city setting because that's when you're gonna get a lot of these car trails and especially on a highway where you have distinct cars going one way and so you got white lights on one side and the red lights on the other, that's always really fun. 
Bridges are a great place to start giving you those leading lines that go straight into your image because the cars are going underneath you. However, there's other places that you can go as well inside of cities itself or just even on the outskirts looking into a city where you see the highways and the cars driving by. Anytime that you can see major roads and stuff like that and highways, that's a fantastic opportunity to get some light trails. So go ahead and try this with different light sources and different angles and exposure times and go and see what you can get. And that is it for this episode of The Dive. It was a little quick, but basically this is a simple concept that you can go apply to a lot of things out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already in order to see more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Go ahead and check out my Instagram. If you see any photos on there that you would like to see videos like this for, let me know. And on that note, I will see you guys in the next one.